Good morning, good morning. This is uh, your Summit Heights Saturday update, and I'm Pastor Chris Hallett. Thanks for joining me this morning here on Saturday, February the 27th. Now, this Saturday update is pre-recorded. I'm not live. Uh, we pre-recorded it due to the celebration of life service uh, for Louise uh, Toby that we're having at noon on Saturday. I'm actually recording this on thur- Thursday afternoon, so hopefully that's over and this is push, we push this back to 1:30 uh, just because of that I didn't want to conflict and have these two things going on because the uh, celebration of life service we are going to par- broadcast on Facebook live or we at this point the time you're watching it we did broadcast it on Facebook live so hopefully next week we'll be back at the normal 11 a.m uh, time slot so the uh, Excuse me. Today, I want to talk to you about our Lenten uh, sermon series called Strangers in a Foreign Land. Uh, this is a series based on 1 Peter. I'm really excited. I'm having fun with this series. I'm excited about it. I've never in my entire ministry preached through the whole book of 1 Peter. I've done Bible studies on it uh, multiple times. I've obviously read it, but I've never preached through it. And I invite you to read through 1 Peter for Lent this year and reflect on how these words that are in this book, this letter, written nearly 2,000 years ago, have particular resonance in our lives today. Now, I want you to notice this visual. This We call it a theme slide. Uh, you probably recognize this, the buildings. That's the skyline of Louisville, but they're upside down. Well, the reason they're upside down, it represents the world in which we live today, a world that is upside down. Uh, What people think of as good today, what the world thinks of as good today, was once called evil. And what people consider evil today is often what the Bible calls good. So we're living in a strange land. We're we're like those two gentlemen on the theme slide. We're aliens, wanderers, sojourners, strangers in this world. But we're not just a passing through. No, no, no. God has uh, plans for us. He's called us to live out the hope that we have in Jesus Christ because of the resurrection of the dead. And so God is constantly doing a new thing and men and women and boys and girls all around us, everywhere, all throughout our lives are desperately in need uh, of the hope that they can find in Christ, the hope that God is sharing, the love that God is showing us in 1 Peter. And and 1 Peter is encouraging us and... Uh, and consoling us in this kind of backwards, upside-down world, but he's also encouraging us uh, to live out this call uh, that God has for our lives in the midst of this crazy world in which we live. And tomorrow, tomorrow my message is titled, Heaven on Earth. Heaven on Earth. Strangers in a foreign land. Heaven on Earth. Now that ought to get your curiosity stirred. God wants to bring heaven on earth in and through you. That's what Peter's telling us in 1 Peter 2, 1 through 12, I believe it is. That's what the scripture that we're going to be looking at uh, for our message this week. So join us tomorrow for worship to find out more. And uh, so you can experience the power, the, 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 the goodness, the power of this good news about Jesus Christ. You know, Lent is a wonderful time to start some new holy habits. And so I want to invite you to join our DNA Bible study on Wednesday nights via Zoom. DNA stands for Discover, Nurture, and Act. I lead this study, and it's it's more of an exercise in allowing God to speak to us through His Word and paying attention to what God is saying. Uh, then we encourage each other to act on that, on what we hear and what we learn together. And so this week, we're going to be studying Romans chapter 3, And you're invited to reflect on these four questions when you read. What does the text say about God? What does this text, this scripture, say about God, say about his nature, his character? What does it say about God's work, his actions, and his mission in the world? And as we reflect on those two questions, uh, the answers to those questions as we discover them in God's word, then we ask, what then does it say about you or about me? about your identity in light of who God is and what God's doing in this passage. And finally, what do you believe God is calling you to do next? What's the next step for you 
that God is calling you to do because of what you've experienced in God's Word. So that's what we're going to be doing, and that's what we do every week. And um, this we're, we're studying Romans chapter 3. Romans is fascinating, fascinating uh, book in the Bible, the Paul's letter to, to Rome. Uh, it's real simple. We are reading the Word on our own. Uh, we encourage you to read it before you come together, and then we come together on Wednesday nights through this medium of the computer and the Internet, through Zoom. And then we listen and encourage each other, not only to be hearers of God's Word, but to be doers of God's Word. So that's Wednesday, 6.30 via Zoom. You can get the Zoom information in the um, e-news. It goes out weekly, the the weekly e-news on Wednesday mornings. Or you can contact uh, the church office, okay? Hope you'll uh, join us for for Bible study. Then I hope you join us tomorrow for worship. Tomorrow and, and every Sunday, uh, we meet at 10.45 a.m. in person and also online. If you come in person, we're, we have your safety in mind, and uh, we're, we're watching over one another in love. We're taking lots of precautions, <clears throat> and I believe uh, we're doing the right thing <clears throat> Excuse me, in, when we are meeting together, uh, making sure that we're being careful and safe. Uh, however, if you want to join us online, that's great too. You can join us on our online platform at summitheights.online.church or Facebook Live or YouTube Live, okay? And so I uh, hope you show up, hope you're with us uh, tomorrow tomorrow morning uh, for worship, either live or in person. Hey, do me a favor, uh, like and share this video. Uh, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We don't want you to miss out on anything that's going on. Also, this helps us spread the good news about Jesus Christ. Uh, so again, thanks for being here, and I hope you have a blessed day, and I hope to see you tomorrow in worship. God bless you.